So now for the second video in the series with the McLaren 720S, the short review. This will just be a short, hopefully under five minute review where we talk about some of the basic features of the McLaren 720S where we get into some of the more technical aspects of the 720S. Again, this 720S was lent to us by McLaren of San Francisco. A huge thank you to Navin Indy Gavala for lending us this car for today so that we can take a look at the inside and the exterior of the car. So let's start with some quick specs. The McLaren 720S, it's called 720S because it has 720 horsepower using the European system. Now using the American system, it's 710 horsepower. Some other stuff, it's got 570 pound-feet of torque on this engine, so that's really perfect for really anything that you want to do around the track, especially considering how light this car is. This car only weighs 2,800 pounds dry. So really, it's lighter than the Lamborghini Huracan, it's lighter than the Ferrari 458 right behind me. So it's quite a light vehicle considering all of the carbon that you have surrounding this vehicle. Let's talk about zero to 60 times. It hits 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds, adding it to that exotic group of cars that hit 60 in under three seconds. And it starts at only $285,000. Now you think, why am I saying only? And that's actually because a car like this, for something that's comparable to this, you would be paying $400,000, give or take. So at $285,000, this car is quite a steal. So if you do want this car in the end, come down to McLaren of San Francisco where you can pick up this car. But let's talk more about the X here to show you why is this such a special car. So this car has a front end unlike any other vehicle. If we look at the front end of this car, you'll see just how aggressive this car is. The front end, going from the lights to the front splitter to the vents right up here, it's really something that you've never seen before, especially the lights. Something that we did talk about in the previous video, the lights are actually air intakes, and this might give you vibes of the Dodge Challenger Hellcat and the Dodge Demon, which also had intakes in their lights. And I think that that actually was adopted from the 720S. Now they've got air intakes all over the vehicle. There's air intakes up front. There's air intakes here on the hood, which are all used either for aero or they're used to cool the engine. But even odder is that the reverse light is two small LEDs on the bottom of the car. Let's talk about some other stuff. And that's gonna go to the opening of the doors. The opening of the doors makes it incredibly easy for anyone to get into this vehicle. The opening of the doors, it makes the window lift as well. And you've got windows above you in this car. So when that lifts, first it looks really cool. And second, since the hood itself has lifted, it's actually very easy since your head isn't there to knock on anything. Unlike cars like the Lamborghini Aventador where it's very tough to get in since just the scissor door pops right up and your head can always knock on the roof. In this car, you don't run into that issue. Let's hop inside and look at some of the other perks of the 720S. So now that we're inside of the car, let's talk about some other aspects of the interior. So some of this stuff is again from the short review, but there's still a lot of new stuff here. So first and foremost, let's talk about the gauge cluster. The gauge cluster actually moves up and down based on what mode of driving you're in. It actually goes up if you're in comfort or it comes down when you're in track mode and you only need to see the necessary information so you can see more out of your windshield and really see more of the track. Other stuff about this car is that it has a ton of space. In fact, it's more space than really any other supercar that I know of. And even though it doesn't have a glove box, it's got storage space around the vehicle which makes up for pretty much everything. Starts with the door pockets which are right here. These door pockets actually have a surprising amount of room. That's perfect for really anything that goes in your glove box. There's one on the passenger side as well. You've got cup holders, of course. There's a net back here. And the best of all is that there's a strap over here in the trunk, which is elastic. And really, say you wanna put like a carry-on bag or a duffel bag, you can stick it right back there, put it onto the strap. And the strap actually has a McLaren logo, which just makes it even more special. There's tons of storage space in this car and that goes all the way up to the front. The front actually has more storage room than really any other supercar. Again, it's something that's really unique and it's something that makes this car more daily drivable and really more special than any other supercar that you can't take out daily. Other stuff about this car includes 
the gear shifter. The center console is so special and it's so different from really any other car because the gear shifter actually is small buttons. You've got D and NR, of course, respectively drive, neutral, and reverse. And then you've got your paddle shifters here. And what makes it very unique for McLaren is that the paddle shifters, when you push one in, the other one goes out. So technically you could drive it one handed by pushing it in and pushing it out. And that's really unique about uh, McLaren. And that's something that they've done in all of their vehicles. Same with the stocks back here. It's really unique and it's something that it's not a big deal, but it just feels good in the hand since it's really sturdy and they've even got these small holes back here. And those holes, maybe their weight savings are, in all honesty, they just look good. And that's what matters more. The inside of this car is so different from any other vehicle. And it's what makes this car different from other McLarens and it makes it different from other comparable supercars. It's what makes this car able to be taken on the track, on the weekends, and even just to your day job on the weekdays. So those are just a few things that are really surprising about the McLaren 720S. Stuff that really isn't common in other vehicles. And that's what makes the 720S so special. Thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you also want to see more, hit the subscribe button since there's the long review that's coming next week with even more information about this car. And there's other content about other vehicles that's also coming up in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.